If you had a choice between continuing to believe what you believe right now and understanding what is really true, even if it meant giving up your entire worldview, which would you choose? Be honest with yourself here. Um, this is really not a rhetorical question. Now, it may not seem like it's an either or proposition, but I assure you that it often is. When we're faced with facts and positions that contradict our worldviews, we're left with a choice. One, we reject that new information and go on our merry way. Or two, we dig deeper and find out what is really true, even if it means changing our way of thinking. Now, I'm sure you're convinced that you're right about your opinions. Most people are. That's just human nature. We'd be crazy to think that we were dead wrong and yet continue to believe the same thing. But you'd also be crazy to think that believing something makes it true. Even seven billion humans believing that the earth is flat won't make the earth flat. Now that might seem obvious to us now, but there was definitely a time in history when that wasn't obvious and people were burnt at the stake for speaking out against the common knowledge of the time. Thankfully, we're not burning heretics at the stake these days. But the mentality, the, the, the attitude is still very present. Now there's ignorance and then there's willful ignorance. Willful ignorance is probably the worst thing that can happen to a human mind. When someone believes something, regardless of the facts, regardless of the information at hand, regardless of what anyone says or can show them, they lose more than just their connection to reality. They lose their connection with who they really are. I know this sounds extreme, but think about it for a second. How can a person that does everything in their power to maintain a belief, even if it has no logical support and no factual basis, how can that person maintain contact with their true intellect? When you choose to believe something, no matter what, you're choosing to believe it even if it means lying to yourself. And in order to maintain that lie, you have to turn something off in your own mind, turn something off deep into your being, that part of you that says, wait a second, maybe I'm wrong. Willful ignorance is a disease, and it is rampant in this country. Now, there is a cure. But the problem is the people who have this disease don't think that they have it. If we could get rid of this one aspect of our mentality, we could turn this country around in a matter of months. However, if we don't make a significant change before the first cracks in the social order start to appear, then that, my friends, is a recipe for a new dark age.